uh, I'm going to spend some time talking about grief uh, over the past few months, and I think particularly the last couple of weeks, uh, we've been feeling stressed, we've been feeling sad, but that sadness might feel a little different than it normally does. It might feel a little, a little deeper. Uh, it might even feel like we're grieving, and the truth is we are grieving. Uh, in addition to the tragic loss of life, um, health, jobs, income, our ability to say goodbye to loved ones, to have funerals, to have stability, uh, to be able to go to the store and buy toilet paper, to even go out and get our hair cut, we also are experiencing the loss of of rituals that are connected to um, happier things, such as happy hour with our coworkers, a night out with friends, sports, prom, graduation. And to add insult to injury, we aren't able to come together to grieve or to celebrate. So how do we manage the loss of our rituals that are meant to help us through the hard times and allow us to celebrate the good times. Uh, one of the first things that we can do is acknowledge our grief. We can know on an intellectual level that social distancing is important right now and still miss the things and be sad about the things uh, that we're not going to get to experience or that we're going to miss out on. The problem with grief is it tends to be a quiet process one that we want to comfort away. And perhaps a more um, helpful or beneficial approach to that would be um, to acknowledge that these losses are, are meaningful. Um, the more that we are seen and heard by ourselves and our loved ones, the more that we actually end up feeling comforted. Guilt is another aspect that we typically see within the bereavement process. We can find ourselves thinking about things that we wish we would have said or done differently. And during this time, another part of grief might be, uh, the guilt with grief might be about how good we have it. Maybe you still have a job, you have an income, you're able to work from home. Maybe you're really enjoying the extra time with your family and the ability to slow down. The thing I'd like to ask you to remember is that our grief isn't a competition. Suffering is suffering and all grief is valid. The last thing that I'd like to take a moment to talk about are the stages of grief. This might be something that you've heard of, but we typically talk about the five stages of grief. Um, and those are denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. And as individuals, we tend to move through the order of these differently. Um, we stay in a stage for different durations of time. And just when we think that we have conquered a stage, four days later, we're right back in it. And that's okay. Grief isn't meant to be linear. So please know that while you're social distancing, if you're grieving, you don't have to do it alone. <laughs>